In this episode, we have some really exciting news, so please make sure you stay tuned till the very end to find out what it is. Hello from the Moonraker Mudlarks, and today we are in a bit of a secret location. There's Dave in the background, and we've joined Doug and Jackie from the South Coast Mudlarks. And uh, yeah, we've come down to a really interesting area. Um, I can't really film too much of it because I don't want to give it away too much, but uh, yeah, let's hope we find lots of treasures already. Dave's found this pipe. Not too jealous, so let's get on with it. It's a pipe. A lovely bit on it. Can't see Maker's Mark anywhere. It's a pipe. Oh, look at this. This would have been nice. Never mind. So, already on the trail. Little bottles, sauce bottles. I spy a mom pop, but it's a bit broken. I'm sure we can get better ones than that. But if not, that's coming home with me. Oh, what's over here? <laughs> well, that's a different one. He's quite sweet. Oh, some writing on there. And it's got writing on it. I can't see that with my bad eyes. I can see number 90. That's a nice little lead seal. Yeah. Writing on both sides. Nice. I heard somebody making a nice noise over here. <gasps> wow, well done. Look at that. Speed. Well done, you. How did you spot that? Just, I could see it nestling. Oh my goodness. I found a couple of, I don't know if you're interested in a daddy's little Oh, I, yeah, that'll do. That'll do nicely. That one's chipped. Yeah. I haven't got one of these sample oh, balls no, yet. Stuck. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> I normally go home from here with like bits in my hair and everything. <laughs> covered in mud. Oh, goodness. Oh, it's good fun though. All good fun. Doug's uh, just found an old oh, lead figure on a horse. And he's a soldier. Well done. What a lovely find. Already. Well and done. Found. Oh, nice. Part of the Royal Antic Union. We always like Buffalo a bit of pipe. pipe. Definitely. Well done. Shame it's broken. It says. Coins, honey and almond cream. I'm ashamed that's broken. It'd been a nice little find. There's a little poison just here, a little clear one. No writing, unfortunately. Oh, Vulcan, oh, it's got a bit of a chip out of it. The Vulcanite. Yeah, oh. That's got writing on Conduct. Conduct? Southampton. Oh, there's one. Oh. Eldridge's, Dorchester. Nice. They'll be coming home. Oh my goodness. Okay, so. I've just spotted a lovely stopper. And it has writing on it. I think it's a daddy's. Oh, I'm so pleased with that. Super pleased with that. So apparently around here, there's a bottle with a stopper in it. 
waiting for me to find and it's green and the only green bottle I can see is over there and it doesn't have a <laughs> neck on it so okay I'm having loads of clues but I still won't find it bring you back this amazing look at this head that Doug's found it's still got beautiful colors on there and I can't believe I walked over that twice <laughs> whoops <laughs> Yeah, oh, I don't like to see that. That would have been lovely. Uh, just put up this little milk glass. Fortunately, it's got crack down here. But it says Sim Sim Simon's Cream around the top. So we'll take that anyway. I think this one's got some writing on it too. G Girl and Co Limited South Sea. Oh, there we are. That one can come home. Look at this little ladle I found. Isn't it lovely? I wonder what that was used for. I spy with my little eye something beginning with B and isn't it beautiful? Look at that. Gorgeous bead. Absolutely beautiful. And my second bead. Lovely. Look what I've just found. Look. I'm so pleased with that. What do you think? Is it going to be complete or not? I don't know. Is it in a better place? What do you think? Oh, and it's complete. Nice little marm pot or a jam pot. And it's in good nick. Happy days. My first ever alley -top. Green one. That's the first one I've ever found. Great. There's a little lid thing here. Oh, or paint. No, a little paint palette, I think. Lovely. All about the small finds. Just scraping out a little I found. Look at that. Hi, hi. Little eye. Lovely. Nice. I have just found a little lead figure on a horse. It does look like the figure's broken, but I'll take that. Just found a beer bottle. Unfortunately, he is broken and he was embossed and would have been the property of W. Cooper and Company. But it does have a vulcanite in the top. Now I don't normally like to separate them, but seeing as this bottle has been broken, I shall be bringing the vulcanite home this time. We have a uh, tablespoons. We have quite a few of these, so I'll probably leave that behind. Two things, first of all, this mother of pearl button and this single stem vase very pretty it is slightly dinked on the back but not on the bit that matters so if you displayed it like that you would never know I'm not quite sure what this is it could be a thimble 
possibly has got it does have pattern on there so I have to wait till we get home and clean it up <laughs> just and this lovely faceted lens absolutely gorgeous look at that that's a nice find just pulled this one out it is a Condug, Southampton, and not far from it. There's no courage in Co Limited. Oh, it's a nice one. So those will be coming home with me. Right, I've just pulled out this one, which is a teaspoons, tablespoons that side. I think. Sorry, no teaspoons. Teaspoons measuring. Lovely. Have that one. Let's take just find. Right. Just spot here a little button, look. Oh yeah, a little button. But further up, up is an arm. Oh yeah, arm. the dog's arm just there. Great the find. Hand. Well spotted you. Still got the hand on as well. Brilliant. Nice one. Well found. Dave's Alagob man today. Number this three. is his third. <laughs> found nothing. Well done. Thank you. A few things. Vulcanite in situ, a bit of a pipe bowl, and a ceramic something. Now I would have completely missed this if it wasn't sun shining at the moment. A faceted black bead. That's going to clean up beautifully. Look at that. Gorgeous. Is it? Could it? <laughs> it is! Pipe bowl! Pipe bowl! Pipe bowl! Now my day is complete. Oh, and I think it does have a design on it. Brilliant! Happy days! And a toy lead wheel, I think, <laughs> possibly. Just pulled this one out of the ground. I didn't know if it was going to be whole or not. It's got a really nice neck on it, though. So I might bring this one back. Ooh. Bit out of breath there, carrying Dave's bags over, and I've just spotted this. Look, a ceramic lid. Is that a bead? Uh, two bottles. Dave's found. No, it's it's a berry seed thing. Just dug this up. Raspberry. <laughs> save this one for Ian and Louise to have a giggle at. Don't know if you heard that. <laughs> Somebody's got the giggle fits over there because as I was doing recording she blew a raspberry. Just dug this out. Nice little cod marble. So that's the first one of the day. Carry on again. So, I saw this without my glasses on. I thought it was a bead, but no. It's the reddest bug I've ever seen. I'll leave them alone. Okay. Okay, now I've just, I've just uncovered this. I'm too scared to do it. Just do it. <gasps> oh, yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Look at that! What a beauty! And it says not to be taken. Oh, well done, Jay. Well done. Sorry, Ian. 
<laughs> Sorry, Matt. <laughs> Sorry, Doug. <laughs> Look what Jackie's found. It's a blue bottle girl day. Oh, Doug, come running around. Oh, my word. You don't have monster. That's beautiful. Well done, Jackie. First little bead of the, of the day here. Might be a uranium one, I'm not sure. We'll have to clean it up and test when we get home. We're gonna have our sticky mud here. But it's a bead. It's a bead. Well done. Just spotted this. It's not complete, but it's a shame. It's been a nursery dish. I've just dug out this little ladle, which would have been for condiments. It's the first one I've ever found like that. So that's a Moonraker Mudlark's first. Brilliant. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Keep watching to the end of the video for the roundup, but now, it's craft time. Jackie's Craft Craft. For this week's craft, I'm going to be making a witch bottle which can be purchased in our Kofi shop. For the bottles, I use a vintage bottle, a little peg doll, a cork, some black felt, and a little broomstick. First, I cut out the witch's cloak out of the felt. I then put the cloak around the little peg doll and secure it with some super glue. Next, I make the little witch's hat, which are hand stitched. The next step is to make the witch's grey hair. I then add it all together and et voila, here is your little witch. Next, to put it all together, this bit can be tricky, especially if the bottleneck is a little bit narrow. And here we have it, a lovely mini witch in our very own bottle. If you rather fancy owning your very own witch in our own little vintage bottle, I have put the link to our coffee shop in the description to this video. The link to our Kofi page is also listed in our bio. This witch was made for Hazel, a supporter of our channel. Thank you so much Hazel for your support, it is very much appreciated. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Hello everybody and welcome to our roundup and wow, just wow, look at the amazing finds we've got in front of us. 
over here we have a lovely collection of our clear glass and there is that lovely teaspoons vial that they found that's in really good condition as well and I just love the colour of this little I think it would have contained ink this will be perfect to use in Jackie's craft to put a little witch in as you saw earlier on this will be appearing on my shop only one glass stopper today is a little bit dinked but it says daddy's on there and funnily enough I have a little daddy sauce here too can't really make it out but it does say daddy sauce on there you'll probably see it better on that side there we go I'm not sure if that would have been in there or not but it's living in there now a little collection of lead and metal it's my little soldier on a horse or it could have been a knight we'll never know because that part's missing the little ladle that would have had a little I think wooden handle and that would have been for salt that's so sweet This did in fact turn out to be a little thimble and you can just about make out some patterns on the side. Like a Greek pattern there. It's very pretty. Still not sure if that's a wheel, I'm not convinced. It could be for a drain, I'm not sure. And a little lead seal here. It does have a little bit of writing on it but it's just too corroded to make out what it would have said and a little paste lid which I think has an anchor on it that cleaned up really well over to the pipes so here's the pipe that they found almost almost complete not quite it's still got its end there and some nice knobbly bits on it the piece that I found actually turned out to be the back of a head so that would have been amazing if it was complete what a shame and then my pipe bowl which has a football and a leg on it and A and F on there very very pleased with that one we have a little bit of stoneware over here I found one of these before and I'm not quite sure what they are it's just a little ceramic disc one side is shiny and the other side is matte I'm not quite sure what that would have been used for so if you do know please comment below my little ladle has on it I'll just get it in a better shot a tiny bit of gilded paint left on there but this is the first type like this that we've ever found so I'm very pleased with that and a little paint pan that Dave found I found a round one like this up in Kent last year still to find one of the little square ones but again very happy with that so many vulcanite stoppers just crazy the first one is long and co from south sea 
Long & Co Limited was founded by William Tolbany in 1814 and was acquired by Samuel Long in 1839. The business was registered in March 1924. The company was eventually acquired by Brickwoods Limited in 1933 when brewing for Long & Co ceased. Buildings still remain, however, with the Long & Co name. This one has W and R B Co Limited on there. I really couldn't find anything much about this, nothing that was specifically with these letters. So if you know anything about this vulcanite and what that stands for, please comment below. I'd love to find out a bit more about this one. I have two William and Cooper and Co here. One I found, one they found. And I have a little bit of history after this clip. William Cooper and Company were founded in 1786. The East Street Brewery was closed in 1889 and brewing transferred to the former Bell's Itchen Brewery at Woodston. The following year, the adjacent High Street Brewery of Vincent and Elliot was taken over and also closed. The brewery at York Buildings was built in 1900 with the curtilage of both the East Street and High Street breweries. The business was acquired by Watney Coombe Reed and Company Limited in 1943 and brewing ceased in 1950. This one is Welsh and Co Limited of Winchester. And following this clip, I've got a bit of history on the company. Welsh & Co Limited was originally under the name of Hugh Wyeth & Company, who were acquired by Strong & Co Limited in 1895. Strong sold the brewery to Welsh, who moved from the St Thomas Brewery, and a company was then re-registered to Welsh & Company Limited. The brewery business was acquired by William Cooper & Company Limited of Southampton in 1929. However, some buildings with the Welsh and company name still remain. This lovely vulcanite is an Allsops from Burton-on-Trent. I love these. We've actually got um, a vulcanite in a bottle with that hand print on it. And after this clip, there's a little bit of history. Allsops was founded by Benjamin Wilson Sr. in the 1740s. However, the brewery was acquired from his son Benjamin Jr. by the latter's nephew Samuel Alsop in 1807. Samuel added a second brewery between 1859 to 1860. However, the business found itself in financial difficulties and went into receivership in July 1911. A new board was appointed in 1913 and the business recovered thereafter. This vulcanite is just your generic stippled one. And my first vulcanite I found actually turned out to be a wooden stopper. It does have a tiny bit of writing on there, but I just can't make out what would have been printed on the top of this stopper, unfortunately. Here we have a lovely vulcanized stopper as well, probably from a panyan pot and then this bottle and this stopper match though it's not one for a vulcanite stopper and it's Eldridge Pope and Co Limited of Dorchester what a beautiful bottle that is absolutely gorgeous and we also found a vulcanite stopper for the same company and after this clip will be a bit of history about them. Eldridge Pope Brewery in Dorchester can trace its roots back to 1837. Eldridge Pope was the staple of Dorchester Enterprise. Upon its restructuring and the development of the new brewery site in 1880 by the owners Edwin and Alfred Pope, 
Eldridge Pope & Co soon became the largest and most important employer in Dorchester. This bottle says Brickworks on there and it actually turned out to be quite interesting. So after this clip, I'll give you a bit of history. In 1851, Fanny Brickwood bought the Cobden Arms Brewery, which was founded in 1823. In 1875, her grandsons John and Arthur Brickwood took charge. Then, in 1880, they moved to the Hyde Park Brewery in Southsea, which was founded by Henry Bansbury Sr. in 1851. Then, in 1887, they moved to the Tessa and Co. Portsmouth Brewery, which was founded in 1763. This was registered as Brickwood and Co. Limited in 1891. In 1899, they bought Jules Catherine Brewery in Portsea, which was established in 1845, and they rebuilt it as the Portsmouth Brewery and moved there in 1902. The name was changed in 1953. Brickwoods Limited was acquired by Whitbread & Co in 1971 with 675 public houses. However, brewing ceased in 1983 and the company was demolished in 1990. This lovely green bottle has G. Gales and Company Limited embossed around the bottom and it's from South Sea. Isn't it beautiful? What a lovely colour. Gale & Co Limited was founded in 1847 when Richard Gale acquired the Ship and Bell Home Brew House. The company was registered in April 1888 with 80 public houses. The business was acquired by Fuller Smith & Turner Limited. However, in 2005 the business closed. Many of the brewery's public houses have mainly now been demolished. And here's a lovely old Courage and Company Limited from Alton. Lovely bottle there. Courage and Co was founded before 1841 by Henry Hall. Then, records show it was listed by Gerald and Edward Hall between 1891 to 1899. The business was then acquired by Courage & Co Limited in February 1903. Courage required the brewery for the production of pale ale, previously brewed for them by Flowers & Son between 1872 and 1886. Brewing ceased here in September 1979 when the Courage Brewery was opened in Walton Grange. The Alton premises continued to be used for canning, bottling and kegging. This is an interesting find and it says Alderney Dairy Limited of Liverpool. Unfortunately I couldn't find any information of this company but it was really unusual that Dave also found a ceramic stopper of the same name which would have gone in there so perhaps these two came from each other and we reunited them all on the same day so today we found two of these bottles that says conduct southampton on there i really couldn't find anything out about this at all um Every time I tried to do a word search, Google, Yahoo, all the others kept saying, do you mean conduct? So if you have any idea or any knowledge of the company conduct and what would have been in here, I, I'm imagining it would have been mineral water. Um, please let me know in the comments below because I'm fascinated to know what this would have contained. We have some lovely aqua bottles there. And here's my little vase. It cleaned up beautifully. And a little egg cup there, which is almost complete. A 
lovely teapot lid. This one's interesting. Cream Simon or Creme Simon. It's French. And after this clip, I'll give you a bit of history. Creme Simon is a French heritage skincare brand which was founded by Joseph Simon in 1860. It was one of the largest French skincare brands in the early 20th century before the war. Creme Simon was a household name at its height of popularity throughout Europe and the US. It can still be purchased, however, to this day. It's Dave's free a la gobster. Very lucky finds those. Two stoneware. Absolutely adore them. This one's got a tiny little dink in there, but we will display it like that so you'll never know. Buttons and beads. Unfortunately, my beautiful faceted black button somehow broke. I have no idea how that happened. And that gorgeous lens, some marbles, and some glasses lens there. Now this, I thought, was a dog. How wrong could I be? This turned out to be a Felix the cat in his iconic pose. And I am just so pleased with this find. It's beautiful. Now for my star find. Look at that beautiful bottle. The biggest we found so far. In a beautiful colour blue. Just absolutely gorgeous. And definitely, definitely my top find of the day. Dark, and today we have come out with wait for it, Doug and Jackie. And over there is Sci Fines. Sci Fines. Make sure you have subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss this excellent episode.